Well, hello friends, I'm back and uh, today we're going to do the uh, haul from the Seville uh, community-wide yard sales that Kelly and I went to. So I got quite a bit of stuff. Um, you know, it was so, everything, was, it was so overwhelming. There was so much, there was so much good stuff. Um, I had a hard time, you know, there were a lot of people who commented on my previous um, shop along video for the yard sales. They commented on a lot of things that they liked that I didn't pick up. And, you know, as a seller, you have to think about what does my audience like? What do they like to buy? You know, I feel like I can't always just pick up what I like um, because I do like a lot of things that I feel like my Thursday night buyers won't purchase. So, um, anyhow, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I have so much stuff. This might end up being a two-part um video because I don't want it to go too long. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Um, so, all right, <laughs> here we are. Um, a lot of these things I, um, in front of me, you saw in the video, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So I did pick up this box of, um, cones they housed of course thread some kind of thread on them and um like i picked out one one stack and there were like about six cones in one stack so i kind of looked down there's probably five to six cones on each stack so got those i think i only paid a dollar for that um I did pick up the canister of the light covers, the red light covers. So I got there's quite a few in there. They're pretty cool. Got these for a dollar. Um, very, very pretty. They'll go great in an assemblage. So they'll stay with me for crafting. Um, I picked up this bag, and I think you might have seen it. Picked up this bag of um, these things. What do you call these? <laughs> um, so, you know, these are great for display, you know, kind of whatever in your sewing room. So we got uh, three red. This one has, is a wood handle. It does say made in Japan on it. There. I got two wooden handles. I like this one. That's neat those. I got two with either Bakelite or Lucite um, handles. Cool. Yep. Got those. And then I got this lovely turquoise blue one. My favorite color. So I got those. Uh, um, not sure where if this was the same garage sale, but these were free. These little, little canvas bags. So if I ever have jewelry that I'm passing along, um, I can use these. So they'll come in handy. Picked up, of course, I think you saw. I paid $6 for this elf guy. He is Japan there he's in great condition like no paint loss oh just a little bit on his arm there but happy to get him i picked up these for two dollars each i love them 
Got to figure out what I'm going to do with them. They do have Made in Japan tags on the back. These two are the same. And then this guy, he seems to be a little older. I think he's a little older. His uh, beard got a little bit pulled. Somebody pulled his beard a little long. So love them i also picked up two christmas annalise they're on the small side but i know everybody really likes not everybody but you either like them or you don't so i picked up two of these for resale they were quite inexpensive, so I went ahead, got him, he's singing, little caroler, like he's got a horn. No, it's a lantern, excuse me, it's a lantern. <laughs> got him. Um, I picked up this really cool cast iron kettle. Um, it does not have, of course, it doesn't have a uh, handle, but wouldn't this be great for assemblage, you guys? I think this is going to, I'm going to attempt a, a Halloween assemblage um, for this. So, I picked up this very cute Greg Shorthand Dictionary. It is quite small. That's why I grabbed it because it's very small. It has a copyright of 1963. Love it. So that's available. I picked up these um, and you saw me on the video I grabbed these. I just thought they'd be so cool for Valentine's Day with the hearts, um, the first kiss, and the first quarrel. They have mirrors on the back, and they stand up. They've got little They've got little uh, wire here that they can stand up. So adorable. I do believe these are, they look quite old to me. So I, I love these. They'll be available or they are available. I picked up, I believe these were a dollar each. Oh my gosh, I couldn't. Um, I could not resist this. I should have looked at this ahead of time. It's got, this has writing on it. It's very small. It's got a, a little scene there. And I think it says something New York. Might be Niagara Falls. I'm not sure. Very decorative, you know, on the... I can't get it to focus, but um, very decorative here. So, cool. Silver plated. Love it. Then, this is um, the 1893 World's Fair. This is a commemorative spoon from the World's Fair. Again, not going to show up, but the right, the writing here, it says World's Fair. And it's very lightweight, you guys, so uh, I'm not sure the name of the metal for this. It's quite lightweight. It would probably bend, but very cool. Then I picked up. Last thing, and then I'm going to have to um, 
you know, pause and change things out. <laughs> I got this amazing, beautiful Viking lidded compote. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I paid $9 for it, which I think is a pretty fair price, a good price. So I got that. This will be great for Christmas. All your red holidays. I got that. Okay, let me pause it and I'll be back. All right. So. Um, should have had this one available for 4th of July. Should have pulled this out. Cute little doily. So cute. But, unfortunately, <laughs> too late. <laughs> too late. But maybe next year, or if anybody wants it now to save for next year. Yeah, I didn't pay much for this. Okay. Um, I paid, I'm looking her over. I've got a little November angel. She looks good. Um, yep, her wings are good. Isn't she adorable? Yeah. Napco. Very cute. She'll be available. I picked up this Ohio Blue Tip Match box. They are out of Wadsworth, Ohio. Wadsworth is where my brother lives. Um, they're only um, half hour away. They have a, Wadsworth has their a blue tip festival every year. Unfortunately, they went and put the sticker right there. And of course, some of the coloring came off, but got that. That's available. I picked up, you know, guys, I'm not sure what this is called. Wild turkey, wild turkey something Japan. Um, it even has a store price tag of $1.50 from Seville, Ohio. And Ohio is just an O. So you know this is old. I love this. See how it has the um, little indentations? So I don't know. What is this for? Is this for cigarettes? Is it a, for a ladle for both sides? And did it have a, um, did it have a lid? I don't know, but I think the colors are fantastic. I love, I love it. So this will be avail available. Then I picked up um, a bunch of cards so cute. So I got one, two, three, four of these Merry Christmas cards. Love them. Love, love, love these. Oh gosh. Okay, they're for they're for pictures. Cute. Just send your kids picture. So I have four of those. I also have a stack of cards, so they're laid out flat. So, greetings with the winter scene. 
with best wishes for Christmas and the new year. Isn't that nice? So I have, oh, they're different. Okay, so I've got two of those. Then I've got this one. What's it say? Greetings. May all the peace and joy of the holiday season bring you a glad new year. Got one of those. <clears throat> Have this one. Oh, wow. Lots of different ones. Look at that. And then this one. Wow. I didn't realize they were all different. I thought they were all the same. So cool. This one. And then that one I already showed you. I think I showed you that one. That one. Okay. That's neat. So these are all, you know, flat like this. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And then have a few other Christmas cards, unless these are the same. I don't know. But all of these, um, let's see, this one's not been written in. This one's not been written in. That's a nice one. I think this is, yeah, and that, there's this one, and that has not been written in, and then look at this, this, yes, this is a card that has not been written in, so look at all the children of the world, so cute, oh my gosh. Merry Christmas. And oh, it has all the um, sayings Merry Christmas in their language there on the ribbons. Christmas, Christmas everywhere, it says. That's adorable. Look, so cute. Really cute. That's neat. You don't find them not written in. All right. Um... Okay, I'm going to pause it again. All right, I picked up a box of playing cards. And, of course, if you've bought from me before, I send package toppers, uh, playing card, vintage playing card package toppers. So um, I got this whole box for three dollars um let's see so i got a big stack of uno i see people use these for um you know identifying you know num you know this item is number six or whatever you know i could use them for that or something like that um now these are very cool too. Again, not not uh, playing cards, but um, I'm I'm guessing they're all animals. No, they're not. Um, yoke, yoke. Um, okay, letter H. That's cool. Again, I could use these to identify. Achoo! Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so dust, I guess. <laughs> These are cool. They're old. I think they have some age to them for sure. Pretty cool. So, and then these were in there too. These are little playing cards, little ones. The back. Oh, gosh. Okay, they're all pandas, so they're all the same. Pandas, cute, oh my gosh, so cute. Um, 
I got this box. Oh, I love these. So there are two different ones in there. They may not have um, originally gone together, but love those. Yeah. Okay, we have these and I don't know. It says that this pretzel is 60 calories. <laughs> I'd be interested to see what else are in there. What else is in there? Um, let me pull out one more card. Okay, 84 calories for peanuts. 84 calories for peanuts. That's cool. <laughs> all right. Hope you don't mind me going through all of these. I know some people may not like these like I do, but um, these were in a case. Very cute. A Auntie Alligator and um, Bouncy Bear. These are Whitman. Cute. Here's the back. Okay. Got some Mixies. Mixies. I think I already have a pack of these. Very cute. Those. Oh, love these. Neat. Oh, here's another deck. They came together. Here's a deck. Um, okay, yeah, so, or you know, two decks, I don't know, but they're just this. Then I have this. Um, we have subtraction flashcards, so they're like this. These are great. Love these. Um, not as exciting, but probably half a deck here of these. I uh, love, love this one. Beautiful. And then, did I show you? Oh, here, here's another stack of Uno. So, got all of those for $3. Very nice. Then I picked up this enameled um, box. <laughs> oh, what's it say? Made by Frida and something, West Germany. Oh. I bet your candy went in there. That's cool. Very pretty. Love it. So that's available. Then um, I did, you saw me picking up the jewelry. Um, fall's coming around. I think these are pretty. The matching earrings. Very cute. Has a rollover clasp. Then I have... I got these. This is pretty. This is green. And then, so we have the pin here. Oh, it's a pin and or a... Um, uh, pendant so it's got a uh, bail there matching clip-on earrings matching clip-on earrings right there very pretty very sparkly and a matching ring look at this matching ring let me see I'll put it on this Put it on this ring, on this finger, I mean. Very pretty. All right. 
So they're available. Then you guys, I picked up, I picked up a box of, um, picked up a box of horses. I was trying to remember. I went back the next day and I um, picked these up. I think they were half off. So I got this entire box for $1.50. So I'll go through them really quick. Um, ceramic horse. Ceramic. So it's a box of horses. This one probably had babies. Probably had babies. So, that. Aw. Oh, this one's ceramic. Missing its hoof, but it's Japan. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Ceramic. Another ceramic. Japan, I think. Yep, Japan. Cute plastic little full. This one is plastic. He's a donkey. Yep. Um, plastic. He looks like a donkey too, with the big ears. Oh, this is adorable. Um, it says Bone China. It has a Bone China sticker on it. Very small. Cute. Another one. This one's ceramic. Oh, here's another baby one. Ooh, baby. We've got a plate. We have a squirrel in here. Maybe I can do something with him. And one last Japan. Yeah, so if you guys know of anybody that loves horses and likes to collect figurines, send them my way. All right, um, I just, I went ahead and I picked up this corn on the cob um, butter dispenser. Um, we never had one of these growing up, so not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might keep it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I picked up this um Ice cream scoop. I love the handle. It's some type of, you know, plastic, hard plastic, but it's definitely old. Great for display. Another red thing I picked up was this set of um, aluminum saucepans. The big one is in excellent condition. Probably wasn't used much. The middle one is the one that was used the most. It's got some wear, some paint loss, but still really cool. And then the small one, very nice. So I thought somebody would like these. All right. Um, I picked up these ornaments so they remind me of the egyptian perfume bottles you guys aren't they beautiful these glass ornaments i i love them very pretty so i got those picked up a couple little cuties this cute little pink plastic um articulating head Elephant, must have been like an ornament, um, so 
don't see any marking on it for where or who made it or where it was made. Cute little <coughs> puppy dog. You saw me pick this up. He's adorable. I don't think it says anything on him. He needs cleaned up, but he's cute. I picked up, I saw these laying in a box. I think these little um, mold, uh, what do you call these? Uh, decorative uh, mold, wood molds. Mold, I don't know what you call them. You guys know. Um, are really cool. Um, they unfortunately they have they have tiny nails sticking out of them. So I am going to have to figure out what I can do if I can bend those down so they're not pokey. I'll have to do that. I got four of them that are were in you know good shape. So. They'd be just really pretty um, displayed on a shelf, um, laid in a bowl, um, you know, something like that, coming out of a vase. Very cool. I picked up this old uh, swing line stapler, red. I love it. I thought, you know, the red color is really neat. So I picked that up. Cake decorations, vintage cake decorations. I picked up two teenagers, girl and a guy dancing. So cute. <laughs> and I also picked up a guy sitting, talking on the phone. Very cool. Probably from the 60s would be my guess. I also picked up this beautiful tin. I think it's beautiful. Floral tin. Very, very pretty. Um, I don't know. It's, oh yeah, it's, it's definitely got some wear. It's got some age on it, but I love it. Got some scratches, it's showing its age, but I, I still love it. So I picked that up. I also picked up an RS Prussia book. Thought about keeping it myself, I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, probably, um, I probably will pass it along. It's got pictures in like this. So I think I'll pass it along. I picked up this framed Coca-Cola picture. Very cool. Doesn't have a, oh, September 10th, 1927. So I, I do think it's probably a real um, uh, advertisement, magazine advertisement. So I got that. And you guys, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I had to pick up this new in the bag pair of pajamas. Look at the graphics on it, on the package. So cool. I tried to figure out, um, it's, a, it's a size 36. Um, these people had all vintage um, size medium pajamas. So <clears throat> I'm guessing this is about a size medium. It's available. I like mine large, <laughs> so got that. Okay, I think you saw this in the video. 
the shop along video look at this you guys oh my goodness so it is um, needlework look how fabulous that is on linen just amazing I love it oh gosh I was so happy to get this this is going to be available love it it's you know kind of old and crinkly on the back but it's old but it's gorgeous look at the flowers you see the flowers so neat love it all right and i picked up this enamel ladle so cool love it i got that some people really like their enamel wear i got this white funnel it says sweden right there love it i went ahead and picked up this ladle uh cream top i think it says here cream top this cute ladle got that i picked up these Paul, I, I'm not sure if they're Holly Hobby or what. Picked up these glasses. They're very cute. Pretty adorable. One's a little smaller than the other. Maybe these will go in my booth. Cute, cute. I picked up these handmade little elves really cute they're little ornaments or you know you can hang them really cute so we'll see maybe there'll be package toppers or something like that or little freebies got those picked up this really cool shaker I love it. With the handle uh, doesn't say anything on the bottom. The aluminum cap. Really cool. Love that. Got that. Um, then I picked up this Shawnee planter. So it has the sticker still on it. I'm, I guess, 50s, maybe 60s for this. Pink on the inside. Really cool. I thought somebody would like it. <laughs> Cute. And got that. Then you guys also saw this clock. So it needs some, you know, the, um, the face comes out so it needs to be adjusted so it's straight this back piece um, is removable also look at this old cord look how old it is crazy 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 <laughs> you know but this will be available I probably will just sell it as is, and then the person who buys it can do what they want with it. But I think it's an amazing piece. I love it. I love the wood, the, the wood housed ones. The ones with the, the wood. I love them. Okay, guys, that's it for this um, portion of the haul. I'm going to stop it here. Uh, thanks so much, everybody, for watching. I so appreciate you all. 
please leave me a comment and let me know um, what you liked and um, hit the thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for part two of the haul from the Seville yard sales. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. See you in the chats. Bye-bye.